Hey, Rockford Jake here. Today I am joined by Jen from the Golden Apple Foundation. How's it going, Jen? Going good. Good. So if you caught our last video, you'll know that the Golden Apple Foundation was put out a call to action for the community to find talent for an upcoming talent show. And what was the response, Jen? We were so excited. 120 submissions came through. We were just overwhelmed with responses. That's awesome. Yes. Somehow, some way, we whittled it down to 20, but it was hard. We had so <laughs> much good talent come in. Yeah, that's amazing. And so with those 20 submissions, there is a talent show now that's coming up. Tell me a little bit about, about that. Well, first, I have to admit, we had a tie. So we have 21. Oh, uh, right? nice. We got a bonus contestant. That's, that's awesome. Right. That's right. We've got Dan dancers, singers, magicians, comedy. It's all there. A pet tricks. It's super fun. You got to tune in goldenappleofrockford.com. It's one click. <laughs> just one click to get in. Uh, it's free and it's virtual. Uh, goldenappleofrockford.com, 6.30 on February 27th. Okay. So it's coming up here real quick. And you said it's at 6.30 PM. And how does the contest work? So it works. We're going to show the top 21 contestants. There'll be a button. It's as simple as clicking the button that says vote. And you make your vote in the form of a donation to Golden Apple Foundation. So five votes equals five bucks to help teachers in our community. Very cool. And so how was now Golden Apple Foundation has had to work a little bit differently, right? Because you can't get together and give golden apples with COVID. So like how will the funds raised by this uh, talent contest work to benefit educators here in our community? Absolutely. We have had to shift gears a little bit. We weren't able to do our Golden Apple Awards this year, but instead we focused on resources for teachers in the classroom. And actually in this show, we're going to have five teachers who made their own videos and highlighted how those resources helped them and their students during the school year. Very cool. Very cool. So one last time, in case they didn't catch it before, how do people... Uh, tune into the show and um, enjoy some of our wonderful 815 talent. It's as simple as going to goldenappleofrockford.com. It's one click. And real quick, can I tell you, we have some pre-show performers who will be there too. Oh, fantastic. Who are they? Uh, Emily Bear, Harlan Jefferson, Chris Brady, Alonzo Russell, and Rockford's poet, oh, Jody Beach, and Rockford's poet laureate, uh, Christine Swanberg. Wow, that is amazing. And you said it all kicks off on February 27th at 6.30 p.m. Yes. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much, Jen, for getting together. And congratulations on 120 submissions. That's fantastic. Sounds like it's going to be a great show and can't wait to watch it here coming up this week. And thank you, Rockford, for tuning in. I just want to give a real quick shout out to all of our business sponsors and our backers that make content like this possible. It's because of their support I'm able to get together with people like Jen and tell you about uh, all this amazing talent that is being showcased here right in the 815 coming up on the 27th of February, real, real soon. Uh, so thanks again for tuning in, Rocker. We'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.